All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of The Fight Flash. And joining me today is uh, the sitting minister of women and child development in the state of Gujarat. Well, the world is celebrating uh, Mother's Day today. And I have been joined by Mrs. Manisha Bain Vakil. Like I said, she's a powerful woman and a modest mother. So we're going to talk to her in a couple of minutes. We'll be asking her how she's uh, keeping a balance between both of these two lives that she has. So thank you so much, ma'am, for being here with us this morning. So ma'am, we'll start today is the World's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. And as we talk about the Mother's Day, you are a kind of a millennial mother. You're keeping a balance between your political career and your motherhood and your family as well. So how's it going so far? It's fine. It's going on very well. And uh, I would like to share that my son is a millennium baby. Because he was born the year 2000. Yeah. So before uh, he was born, I have been working. I been, have been working women uh, since uh, 23 years or so. So working outside is not a new thing for me. And then uh, uh, I was also a teacher and I, was, I have always uh, been with children. You know? So there is a special attachment uh, with kids also. And I know uh, the psychology of any child who... Uh, it goes to school or college and how to maintain a balance between uh, a mother uh, at, at a work and at home. So that has been a challenging period for me. But right now he's 21 years of age and he is now in adulthood. So uh, right now he must be facing a problem that will be a different type that as compared to the children. Right. Yeah. So from being a mother of your son of one child, to now being a mother to so many kids. And back then also you said you were in school as a teacher. So how different is that? How much do you enjoy it? And how are you taking it? Uh, I, as I told you before also that uh, I enjoy being with kids. Yeah. And uh, because I was a teacher uh, and apart from that, uh, even I like being with children. If, even if I was not a teacher, that was also okay with me. But uh, as soon as my child was born, I have given him uh, two complete year uh, of mine. I was at home and after uh, he started with the play group, I started my job again. I uh, rejoined my job and uh, when he was 11 years of age, I entered politics. And uh, no, I, since then, uh, I have been here uh, with my uh, you know professional also. I have uh, grown and my child also has grown and my family has also grown along with all this thing. So uh, it's okay, it's fine. He's also set up with the things that mama won't be home at this period of time or at this, uh, you know, hour of time. And he knows it mentally that when mama will be available at home. And he also knows that uh, which day he will be there whole day with me. As if like many a times it happens that we have number of festivals and at those uh, period, you know, on that type of uh, period, you are not at home. You are with, uh, you know, uh, the constituency people or there are many of number of programs which are arranged by different society people and you are joining there instead of being at home. So that also he has adjusted a lot. And now it is like if there is any festival, he knows that mama will not be at home. Many a times um, uh, there was a certain uh, time also when he used to uh, have his food on his own. Uh, many a times it was like that uh, if the cook is not available or maybe my in-laws are not there. Then he has uh, grown up arranging everything and getting adjust adjusting everything on his own. Do you recall one memory when it's like he needed you the most? And you yeah, that of course. That. You know, you have that guilt feeling many a times. A mother who is working uh, will be working, will give a 100% at workplace and she will also be having a guilt feeling that at this period of time, I am not at my, uh, you know, my... Uh, uh, at home or with my child many a times there there were uh, there was a time that uh, i had to attend you know uh, parents meeting and, and i was not available that time so but what one thing i have uh, you know i found my way out like uh, if he is in college i don't leave everything on his own i, I don't believe that uh, if he is in college there then i should not keep in contact with the teacher or the principal uh, what one thing i've maintained very well is that uh, I have been in regular contact with his uh, class sir right now also. He is in third year of college. And his class sir uh, and I have been in good rapport. If there is something up in the college, 
if there are internal exams if there are external exam if there is a form filling method or whatever immediately along with everything he will be uh, contacting me he will be in communication with me so i will always know that where is my child standing you know uh, even his report card or even, even wherever he has taken part in in certain activities there will be a report which will be sent to me uh, by hod or class teacher and the principal so uh, i have i make sure that even if i am not physically present over there all the reports regarding my child should be there with me anything up and down goes over there or something goes wrong with my child immediate message before my child comes to home i'll get that message that system have set up right. because i being a teacher i know whom to call yeah. at this period of time or certain time i know so that is easy for me to be there and you know when we talk about uh, this entire thing that you have set up for your family there are so many other mothers as well who are working and how much more you have kind of made it a normal thing right how much more do you think the society other mothers other families they need to normalize it see uh, it, it it has not been very easy for me to get normalized at this situation what happens is that you should know the psychology of the child right you should know that uh, what he needs and uh, what is his basic nature because every child is not same mm. if my child uh, my child is little introvert type of person and i i get adjusted to him whatever he feels like if he is not very comfortable outside speaking to uh, any any friend or uh, maybe his class or, or principal so i am there at his help recently also he had few problems in the practicals and he was like uh, uh, not very confident about giving uh, practicals that time he had shared me that mama i won't be able to give the sec practicals i am not very comfortable with, with these two subjects so i knew that where uh, what went wrong and where where i should be there and where I, he needs my help so the child learning the psychology of the child is very important and then getting adjusted to the situation plus i would insist not only mother see mother is not only the family member but the child has to get his uh, ex, uh, you know uh, you know adjusted even father even his grandparents they should understand child because his mother is not at home yeah. many uh, uh, times it happens that if the father and the in laws are not able to handle the situation the situation goes very bad I with see. the child and that time the mother doesn't know what to do she is in dilemma whether she should work or she should not work there will be a lot of pressure did you her. have a situation like many a times it happened because uh, it was a time when uh, uh, he was very close to my father in law and he had expired when he was 10 years of age and uh, i remember i was with him in the school and i got a call that your uh, father in law is not okay that was a message i got but as soon as i went to receive him from this uh, class i i just told him that we have to be at home uh, and uh, he said why mama why immediately you are taking me to home i said that's just uh, he is not okay so that 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 particular day i remember that as soon as he came to know that this is the situation uh, he became very introvert he felt that my dad he is not no more and that was a big you know uh, a, a gap where he felt that uh, i will not be able to share my things he used to play yeah. with him he used to share all his school things with me because i i am working i also have done tuition classes so after coming from the school i was busy with my uh, students and all so even that time he has adjusted he has been there uh, when i am teaching somebody on the dining table he'll be sitting next to me so i have put my presence wherever is possible but Uh, the family, as I told you, family's involvement is also very much necessary, and that was a period, as I told you, that uh, he felt very low, and I felt that yeah, now we all should get involved in uh, whatever activities he is doing and leave everything aside, because the child is, you know, uh, at his very uh, uh, adolescence age, and that time uh, he needs uh, the family, not only mother, he needs the family. I see. when we talk about gujarat state in particular how does the entire scene looks like because we are sitting in the mothers day uh, definitely today is mothers day and we are celebrating motherhood but uh, being a mother is also a tough period and uh, i would always uh, like to share one thing at this platform because it is uh, uh, people are going to watch this and i, I d- will definitely like to share that what is needed for the uh, nourishment of the child that is very important because when a woman becomes a, uh, becomes pregnant right from the first month uh, till she delivers the baby uh, she has to take care of her health 
and uh, she has to uh, understand that what are the things she needs to intake as a food well nutrition food is very much necessary because uh, when the child takes bath and you, you have to think that what about its uh, the child's weight what about the different nutrition which is uh, the child is going to take uh, because the mother is going to do breastfeeding and all so all things that has to be balanced and after the uh, child uh, stops taking the milk and all till the age of uh, 3 years the proper nutrition has to go in child's body so that uh, thing we are doing up with the government that is what we are started uh, like that uh, malnutrition is the uh, key uh, thing right now we are facing a big problem we are facing right now gujarat is a well flourished state there is nothing of poverty type of thing in gujarat so what is necessary is correct uh, e uh, food eating habits uh, i would like to say to all the mothers that uh, teach your child to have uh, well uh, nutrition while uh, dish in the uh, uh, dinner also and even in the lunch time also please don't ask them to go for fast food yeah. that is not needed because uh, once in a while is okay but then on the daily basis you should take care what the child is going to intake as a food right ma'am one last question one parenting tip that you would want to give to all the mothers out there i would like to say that uh, being a mother you should be very strong yeah. very strong because uh, now there will be a time where out of 10 four mothers will be working mothers and you are going to be inspiration for number of other women because you will inspire number of them to work because now it is not a time it's not old age of time where your husband kaam karega to chalega now it will be that even woman has to work and she should be given freedom and for getting freedom many a times a woman should not depend upon husband and the family that wo bolenge to main karungi that type of thing should now go away and you should tell them you should guide them you should give them directions that this is what i need and this is what i'm going to do you should help me right that is thing that we have to grow up with uh, you know certain things are still there in the society <laughs> and still it is prevailing that if you want to work you have to ask permission the number of years will go in permission first of all whether you are going to work or not that permission you will ask ki mujhe allow karenge ki nahi see you have that capacity so you should be very confident that this i am going to do and this is what i want to do if you are studying you are post post graduate you are having number of degrees and after that you feel that chalega degree leke gaye hum bachcho ko padhane ke liye ye degree acquire kar rahe hai to ab stop saying those things yeah. now that is not the reason of not being a see so that uh, see face the fact be very frank talk to your husband make him understand make the family understand that this is what you need and being a uh, very fact or very frank in whatever you uh, want to achieve is not negative it is not bad now the uh, era is changing uh, you are in the as you say the millennium mothers yeah. so this a uh, millennium women where you are going to change the society and india is changing very fast so you have to have your own identity so be very strong in whatever and be very firm yeah. be very firm in your decision that this is what i am going to do and i will balance the family i will balance everything my work my home but this is what i desire to do wo aapki jo bhavna hai aapki jo feeling hai you don't have to put in your heart na theek hai chalega that is not that because right. you will never be happy and if you are not happy the family will never be happy very right true. yes i okay so this is one of the most powerful and best messages on the occasion of mothers day that yeah. we have had so far So thank you so much ma'am for being here with us. Happy yeah. Mother's Day to you once thank again. Thank you. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen this was Mrs. Manisha Vakil with us and I think uh, the last answer that she gave is something that we are going to put in uh, the inverted commas and everyone all the mothers watching this uh, they should take this message very seriously. So with this and a lot more that you need to know make sure that you stay tuned to TFF. Thank you.